Hello, my dear lovely students. A very warm welcome to this class. Now you know we are discussing today the chapter reproductive health. Important PYQs as well as some other important questions I will be discussing in today's session. Now, how am I, am I going to discuss this? Because whenever we'll be having one question on the screen, I'll try to explain you that topic. Because you know this series is going to help you in understanding those topics which were previously asked in your NEET examination. So that is the reason your PYQs, they are super duper, super duper important again I am saying. So whenever you are revising, many times I have discussed with you, whenever you are revising these questions, make sure you explore all the options and you explore all the concepts which is related to the question as well as the different options. This should be your strategy. And if you are not going to follow this strategy, like if you suppose you are practicing 200 questions in a particular subject in a day, those 200 questions, they are not going to help you if you are not going to follow the strategy. So make sure that all the concepts you have to uh, discuss, you have to learn. So let's start without wasting any time. So reproductive health students I am going to discuss today. This chapter itself holds 3 to 4 questions. Like 3 to 4 questions, they directly come from this topic. So those three to four questions which come from this topic, they are very easy. I won't say they are difficult, only some concepts are there as far as the ART, that is the assisted reproductive technologies are considered. And I'll try to explain you that concept also. That will take another five minutes of me, but definitely I'll explain whenever we'll be having that question on the screen. So don't worry, Chavi Ma'am is always with my students and I am going to help you guys in attaining good marks in your examination. Let's start this session. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is a list type of question where we have two lists, list one and the list two, and you have to match it and find out a correct answer. Now, in this, whenever we look at the list two, it always has some explanation. So, definitely explore this explanation first and accordingly match the list one. Entry of sperm through cervix is blocked. Entry of sperm through cervix is blocked. That means we are talking about the barrier method. We are talking about barrier method. Do you agree to this point? Yes, buddies. Barrier method. Now, let's look at the option. False IUD, vasectomy and tubectomy, which come, uh, one comes in a barrier method? The correct answer we have is false. So, for the one option, one option, the correct option in the list one we have is option A. Let's look at the two. Cut and tie of vas difference. Yes. And when do we do that? This is done in the surgical method and that surgical method in case of men is termed as the vasectomy. So, this is the correct answer. Yes, permanent method. Now, next is phagocytosis of sperm within the uterus and this is because of the intrauterine devices. There are three types of intrauterine devices mentioned in this chapter. One is a non-medicated intrauterine devices. Second one is a copper releasing intrauterine devices and third one is a hormone releasing intrauterine devices. Clear? Right? Hope that concept is also clear. Now phagocytosis, IUD, cut and tie of the fallopian tube, that is the tubectomy. Right? This is a very easy question. And again, I'm telling you, this chapter is very scoring. And even if we'll go through the PYQ, that is a 20-year PYQ, you'll be able to solve all the questions which will be coming in 2023 examination. Now, here, I would like to discuss with you this IUD because this is a very important topic, IUD, intrauterine devices. So, IUDs, guys, that is intrauterine devices, they are of three types. First one we have is non-medicated. Non-medicated, yes buddies, clear and the second one we have is the copper releasing, we have is the copper releasing, so what do you mean by copper releasing, that means those are one which releases copper, third one we have is hormone releasing, hormone releasing. Now, listen, when we talk about the non-medicated IUDs, non-medicated IUDs are those IUDs which causes, sperm. basically it causes phagocytosis of the sperm. Phagocytosis of sperms. 
yes what is clear it causes phagocytosis of the sperm and in this case the example we have is lippy's loop we have an example of lippy's loop right now the second one we have is a copper releasing so name itself indicate copper releasing that means they are going to release copper and what does the copper cause copper will affect the sperm motility and fertilizing capacity of sperm so it affect sperm motility sperm motility and fertilizing capacity fertilizing capacity right and in this case various examples are there for example we have is copper t copper t copper 7 and multi load 375 multi load 375 here yeah, multi load 375 the last one we have is the hormone releasing iud's these are those which releases hormone name itself indicate in this we have an example of progestor cert progestor cert and another example we have is lng20 now how does this hormone releasing iud's work they basically releases progesterone and estrogen and whenever the body is rich in progesterone and estrogen that means fsh and lh will be inhibited so one thing which they affect is the follicular growth it affects the follicular growth it affect the ovulation and yes it also affect the implantation so implantation will not happen clear yeah. implantation right buddy so these are the three types now whereas like you know about these two options let's talk about the first option also which is your walls walls you know they are what they are the barrier method walls diaphragm cervical caps they are used by female and they prevent the entry of the male gamete into the female reproductive tract so it act as a barrier so hope it is clear till now let's move on to the next question which of the following next question is which of the following technique the embryos are transferred to assist those female who cannot conceive now listen if a female is not able to conceive that means what will happen she is not able to conceive right so that means what we can do is the first thing is gift so chances are the first thing is the first chance is that means female is not able to produce egg is unable to produce eggs if a female is not able to produce egg that means what will happen but students so that means what will happen in this case what we can do is we can follow the procedure which is gift you know all females love gift how you can realize gift what we can do is we are going to take a gamete from a donor and what we are going to do is we are going to transfer this gamete into intra fallopian transfer tra fallopian transfer this is the first condition students am i right this is the first condition that means female is not able to produce egg what we can do is we can give them a gift here yeah. now question let me read the question again in which of the following technique the embryos are transferred to assist those female who cannot conceive right now listen very carefully here what we are doing is we are directly transferring the embryos here what we are doing is we are directly transferring the embryos female is not able to conceive but we are transferring the embryos directly that means this procedure we cannot go for many times students they go for gift that means but in the question it is clearly written that we are talking about the embryo transfer we are transferring the embryo directly now listen the first one is a gift we cannot go for gift right because what we want is a embryo transfer gift yes gift we can do 
तो जिफ्ट वाई इट इज बींग जिफ्ट डन जिफ्ट इज अ ट्रांसफर बेसिकली ऑफ द जाइगोट इन टू द फेलोपियन ट्यूब दैट मीन्स अ वन सेल स्टेज और अप टू एट सेल स्टेज दे आर बींग ट्रांसफर टू द फेलोपियन ट्यूब वी कैन गो फॉर जिफ्ट कैन वी गो फॉर इक्सी यस इक्सी इज अ प्रोसीजर वॉट इज दिस इक्सी इज अ प्रोसीजर बाय विच द फर्टिलाइजेशन वी कैन डू इन द लेबोरेटरी तो वट यू मीन बाई इक्सी इक्सी इज इंट्रा साइटोप्लाज्मिक इंट्रा साइटोप्लाज्मिक फर्म इंजेक्शन This is a procedure of uh, making an embryo in the laboratory. ICSI. See, so what do we do is we take a egg and in this egg we inject with the help of micro injection we inject these uh, sperms, whole sperm we in, uh, like insert directly into the egg. Yes, ICSI we can go for and after that we can go for ZIFT. That is a zygote intrafallopian transfer. <coughs> Here, so this is absolutely right. Now, gift and ICSI. Next is gift and ICSI. We cannot go for gift. Can go for ICSI procedure. Next is a zygote intrafallopian transfer. We can go for zygote intrafallopian transfer, but can we go for IUT? That is a intrauterine transfer. Now listen, intrauterine transfer. What do you mean by this? Intrauterine transfer is transfer of embryo into the uterus. transfer of embryo into uterus now again listen very carefully yeah here up to or more than 16 cell stage 16 cell stage we transfer the embryo directly into the uterus is this clear is the topic clear we can go for zift we can go for intrauterine transfer this like this is also fine and this particular topic is also fine but question is all about the embryos are transferred this is a technique guys ICSI is a technique again i told you this is a technique and with this technique we can go for zift either we transfer first we are going to do the ICSI now the uh, doctors they'll go for a icsi we have the zygote with us now zygote we have to transfer into the fallopian tube that is also possible zift embryo we are transferring and the next case is that is we can go for the iut intrauterine transfer or the embryo transfer that means more than 16 cell stage we are going to transfer so out of this i will go for option 4 what was your opinion in this question because icsi these are right this procedure is but this is a procedure and with this procedure we can go for the zift as well as gift here so which option is right buddies option 4 like this you have to explore see i again confuse you first i i talked about the gift to make you understand that why uh, you didn't go for gift second i told you that we have the option of icsi and the zift also why did we didn't go for the icsi so these are the certain checkpoints where i was actually checking you and this is what you have to do also while practicing questions why this option is wrong why another option is wrong so this is this should be your strategy now <coughs> okay let's move on to the next question sexually transmitted disease again a very important topic sexually transmitted diseases are those diseases which are spread through sexual contact gonorrhea yes this is a std right what about the malaria malaria is because of it is because of the plasmodium and not because of the sexually transmitted disease malaria is not a right option this is wrong genital herpes is it right yes this is absolutely right genital genital herpes we have is aids yes this is a std malaria is not a std filaria is a not a std filaria is because of the filarial worm which is bucheria bancrofti now cancer is not a std aids is a std and syphilis treponema pallidum is also an std now gonorrhea is a std syphilis std and genital herpes is also a std here 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 buddies this should be your approach so this question this word this is a very important question because diseases from the all the diseases questions they 
purely comes because we have two chapter consecutively first human health and diseases we are we are just talking about the diseases and the second chapter is this and in fact in the 11th standard in the human physiology various diseases are there so those are the very favorite topic of the doctor uh, of the examiner because in future what we, you will be doing is you will be treating your patients like for these diseases only so those are always a favorite topics and cancer if i say cancer cancer is one of the topic every year questions come from this topic now which of the following stds are not curable that means we do not have a particular uh like medicine or you can say we cannot control it we can increase the longevity of a person but we cannot completely eradicate it chlamydiasis chlamydia trachomatis no syphilis treponema pallidum no genital warts human papilloma virus no see i am again and again what i am doing is i am discussing those causative agents also hiv yes hiv is non curable gonorrhea nigeria gonorrhea no this is this can be curable so this is not a non curable type of disease trichomoniasis no trichomonas vaginalis this is uh, we can cure this gonorrhea we can cure this trichomoniasis we can cure, uh, cure this no this no we can we can cure this we cannot cure this hepatitis b genital herpes yes this is the right answer genital herpes hepatitis b and hiv infection these are the three diseases directly mentioned in your ncert this is a line from your ncert itself that these are the diseases which are non curable so again i'm telling you the one book which you have to refer see few days are left guys so one book which you have to refer for uh, all the problems all the questions which will be asked in your examination is your ncert at least for biology so make sure each and every line you must have gone through and you know what's the mystery behind H uh, ncert if you are going to read your ncert for the first time you will find it okay you have understood certain point and in the second time if you are reading your ncert or the same chapter suppose you are reading again you are going to find some new points in the third time third time when you are going to read this again some new points you are going to find which you didn't find at the time of your first reading so this is a mystery behind the ncert so i won't say like after one reading or the two reading you will be able to understand your ncert once twice and the thrice this is important and sometime it is like a first paragraph is given and we are like okay first paragraph is very simple and sometime we skip that also no we should not do that read that also properly because that is created to build up um, a story in your mind so that you will be able to understand why this chapter is there in your syllabus and sometime questions come from that topic also okay now next one we have is progestogens alone or in combination with estrogens can be used as a contraceptive in the forms of injections pills injection implants pills only implants yes they are used in all the forms they are used as a pill they are used as a injections the injections are being given and the implants also which continuously release these hormone and these act as a contraceptive devices for example uh, in the pill we have talked about the combined pill we have is a progesterone and estrogen we have injection also depo provera provera if you remember we have certain implants also some patches are there which releases these hormone and they act as a contraceptive things so we we are going for the option 2 hope you are also on the right track with chavi ma'am moving on to the next select the hormone releasing uterine devices this i have discussed i don't think so i need to discuss this again which option are you going for volts and lg20 so listen volt volts are what these are the barrier method so this is not the correct answer lng20 yes this is a hormone releasing but because of volt this option has been eliminated multi load 375 what is this this is a copper releasing copper releasing if you still have any doubt you can pause the video and go back and look at the first question where i have discussed about the various intrauterine devices that is the reason i discussed that in the first question itself because many questions they come from intrauterine devices because it's important progester cert yes this is right this is a hormone releasing but because of multi load 375 we are going to eliminate this option progester cert and lng20 this is a right answer let's look at the fourth option of also lippies loop and multi load 375 lippies loop is what this is a non medicated this is a non medicated you remember first question buddies 
And what about the multi load 375? What is this? This is a copper releasing. This is a copper releasing. What is the function of each of these? This should be clear. And that is the reason I have discussed about them in detail. Now, next one, which of the following sexually transmitted disease is not completely curable? So, see, STDs, another type of question which can be asked in this form also. All three diseases should be there in your mind. Make a tattoo, I don't know whatsoever you have to do. This is important. Gonorrhea, what's the causative agent? Nizeria gonorrhea. No, this is not STD. Uh, this, is, uh, this can be curable. The genital warts, he won papilloma virus. Yes, this can be uh, uh, like treated. Genital herpes, yes, very difficult to uh, treat just because of the herpes simplex virus. Chlamydiasis, yes, we can treat this, so this is not the right answer. What's the causative agent? Chlamydia trichomatis. Always remember those causative agent. Uh, like what are their causative agent? What are their symptoms? One or two symptoms you can remember. And what are why are these? Like what kind of pathogen is involved in this? Is it a bacteria disease? Is it a viral disease? Or it is because of the any other like a fungal disease, etc. Now next one. Which of the following contraceptive method do involve a role of hormone? That means they involve a role of hormone. The first one we have is a lactational amenorrhea. Second we have is a pills and we have is a emergency contraceptive. Next we have is a barrier method. We have is lactational amenorrhea. We have is a pill. Next we have is a copper T. Have is a pills and emergency contraceptive. Next we have is a pills, emergency contraceptive and barrier method. Now listen very carefully. First is lactational amenorrhea. So if you remember in lactational amenorrhea what happens is person's body or the female body they releases prolactin right female releases prolactin and because of the access of removal uh, 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 secretion of the prolactin in her body this is going to inhibit it inhibits FSH and LH FSH and LH if I say hormones are involved in this am I right in that aspect yes Hormones, they are involved in this. What about the pills? Yes, pills contain hormone only. This we have discussed. Pills, implants and injections, they contain hormones. This is right. Whereas the emergency contraceptive, they contain high amount of progesterone and estrogen. For example, unwanted 72, we have is an eye pill, etc. So what does they do is they prevent implantation. So hormones are there. So this is also right. We can go for a first option, but definitely we will explore other options also. The barrier method, for example, here we have is a condom, we have is a waltz, we have diaphragms, like this are there. They do not release hormone, but one thing which they are associated with, just a second guys, so one thing which maximally they are associated with is what? The spermicidal creams, right? So this is not the one, I am not going for the, this option, barrier method. Lactational amenorrhea, yes, some hormones are there involved. We are studying those hormones. Somewhere or the hormone role is there. So, this is the correct answer. Next, we have is a pills. Both of them, they are right. Now, copper T. Copper T releases hormone. Uh, copper T releases copper. So, it is not related to the hormone. Yes, this is right. This is right. This is right. This is right. But this is not. So, which option are we going for? Option 1. Guys, is it clear? Option 1 is correct. Now, the contraceptive Saheli, next question. You know, the contraceptive Saheli is a developed by CDRI, which is a central drug research institute there in the Lucknow. Right? They have created a non steroidal contraceptive pill. So, this is they have created non steroidal contraceptive contraceptive medicine the non steroidal contraceptive medicines which they have created person has to take uh, like uh, uh, those who do not want a pregnancy they ha have to take once in a week so if they are taking once in a week so and they do not have a side effects also let's talk about the option it blocks the estrogen receptor in the uh, uterus preventing eggs from getting implanted yes this is right 
what does a saheli ha saheli has a scent chromane and this scent chromane they bind to the estrogen receptors they will not allow estrogen to bind on the uterus and estrogen will not bind on the uterus that means implantation or you can say the proliferation of the endometrium will not happen so proliferation of endometrium will not happen that means there will be no implantation here this is absolutely right now increases the concentration of estrogen prevent ovulation no this is not the right if it increases the estrogen it's incorrect it's an iud no this is not an iud it is a post coital contraceptive no here it is not a post coital it is a pre coital that means before intercourse it has to be taken now moving on to the next we have is again we have two column and this is again what do we have is some causative agent and some diseases are there and we have to match these first example we have is a gonorrhea gonorrhea is because of the nigeria gonorrhea yeah syphilis treponema pallidum genital warts genital warts is because of the human papilloma virus some warts like thing happens some it is like some blackish warts and those which can be removed with the help of cryo surgery yes it's it's hiv you know human papilloma virus its name is also mentioned in the cancer also that yes in the longer run it can cause cancer you remember it is there in the ncrt itself so hope you can match for the first option we have is a option 2 for the b we have is a option 3 c option 4 and d1 yes now moving on to the next we have is in case of a couple where the male is having a very sp uh, low sperm count which technique will be suitable for the fertilization right now intra uterine transfer gamete intra cytoplasmic uh, uh, cy intra cytoplasmic fallopian transfer artificial insemination intra cytoplasmic sperm injection see whenever a sperm count is less what we can go is we can take out the sperm we can take out the semen and we can introduce artificially into the female reproductive tract that is artificial insemination we can go for artificial insemination guys we can go for intrauterine transfer also we can we cannot go for we cannot go for the gift procedure because this is done in case of female infertility icsi is you know this is what this is a procedure but the most first step which you have to do is the artificial insemination here yeah? because sperm count is less we there are various steps whenever a couple comes to you you'll you're going to tell them a most easiest step that is the fertilization which is going to happen inside their body but suppose that fertilization is not possible in the female's body then only couple can go for the fertilization outside that means in the laboratory condition for example one can go for zift for example one can go for the intra uterine transfer or embryo transfer at that time one should go for but the first thing is they prefer or the even doctors prefer that one should go for in vivo fertilization so this is a correct answer now the function of copper ion in copper releasing iud i've discussed about it what is the function that it suppress the sperm motility and fertilizing capacity of sperm direct line from your ncrt itself not from a, a, anywhere direct line i have discussed about this in the first question also now which of the following is not an iud it's not an iud first is a waltz waltz is, i don't know why but it is every year examiner's favorite waltz waltz are what waltz are the barrier method are the barrier method they come under the barrier method and in the barrier method guys this is basically for the female and who uses it the female copper t multilot 375 these all three are what these are the iud's that is the intra uterine devices these are placed in the uterus whereas the waltz is the one which is placed in the cervix region that means towards outer side whereas the intra uterine devices they are placed in, so in internally and one cannot place it by themselves one needs doctor whereas the waltz diaphragm or these are the devices which one can use themselves also So we are going for option one in this case. Moving on to the next is select the correct option. So whenever we have a correct or incorrect, the first thing is make a box around the correct option. Yeah, the first one is IUI, that is intrauterine insemination. What is the full form? Intra. I'll write it down. 
uterine insemination that means we are placing the sperm directly into the uterus that too artificial help of women with premature menopause to bear a child no it is not related to bear a uh, child it is an artificial process of coitus in fact i can say gift involve ivf to help women who cannot produce a womb to bear a child yes gift is a right thing it is an ivf procedure in which a female see how you can remember this is when a female she is not able to produce egg when a female is suffering what do you do you give them gift this is how you can remember this is right gift involve ivf to help women who cannot uh, produce a womb to bear a child no gift is done in the in the that case also where the sperm number is less or the sperm fertilizing capacity is less or the sperm morphology is not fine or the sperm motility is very less or in the case we are going for the donor sperm or in the case we are going for the donor egg and here the fertilization is happening with the help of procedure which is termed as ICSI we form zygote and we place that zygote into the fallopian tube so this is uh, 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 incorrect zift involve ivs to help women who have damaged fallopian tube see what we are doing in zift is zygote intra fallopian transfer we are transferring the zygote into the fallopian tube and there they are saying that her fallopian tubes are there blocked if her fallopian tubes are blocked how can we place a zygote in the fallopian tube this is also incorrect so which option guys are we going for option 2 Yeah. So this should be your strategy. Like from the first minute to the last minute, this is this is what you have to follow while practicing. Yes, at the time of examination, sometimes it is like you will the same strategy. You do should not have to. You should not follow the same strategy where you are looking into deep of all the video all, all the options. But yes, you have to go through four or different options to look for those options which is correct or you can say more correct as compared to other options. the lactational amenorrhea ovulation does not occur during the period of intense lactation because high level of fsh lh surge of estrogen stimulation of gnrh high level of pro prolactin this is because of the high level of prolactin i have discussed that also prolactin they act or as a it uh, act as a negative inhibitor or it controls the level of the gonadotropins in our body which is fsh and lh when a person is highly lactating when a woman is highly lactating at that time her body is rich in the prolactin and that prolactin prolactin is used for what this is used for the synthesizing milk and in that case they act as a negative regulator it won't allow the hypothalamus to uh, they, to release gnrh which act on anterior pituitary to release the hormone fsh and lh correct now moving on to the next is embryos with more than 16 blastomere formed due to in vitro fertilization yes we have done the fertilization we have done the icsi procedure in the lab we have produced an embryo which is having 16 or more than 16 blastomere we are going to transfer that into we are going to transfer that into the uterus four cell stage we are going to transfer into the uterus if it is up to eight cell stage we are going to transfer the zygote into the fallopian tube here here buddy again a direct line given in the ncrt now moving on to the next is which of the following is incorrect regarding the vasectomy incorrect vas deferens is cut and tied yes surgical procedure and vas deferens is cut and tied irreversible sterility yes if one person has gone for it it reversal is nearly impossible no sperm count in the seminal fluid no sperm count in the epididymis now listen very carefully sperm will be there in epididymis right this i'll write it here yes in the se fellow, uh, seminal fluid the third option in the seminal fluid there will not be any sperm because the vas deferens is cut so we have a testis over here which secretes these uh, uh, you can say the hormone so sorry we will secrete these uh, sperms from here it enters into the epididymis from epididymis this is a vas deferens arising this is a vas deferens and from vas deferens and later on the seminal vesicle ducts open this is seminal vesicle 
So what we are going to do is we are going to tie this area. That means sperm will be present in epididymis, but sperm will not be present in the seminal vesicle fluid, which is coming over here in the ejaculatory duct. E. Remember, this is a here the two chapter concepts are related. One is the human, uh, uh, sorry, reproductive health, and the second one is a human reproduction. Both chapter concepts they are related. So yes, this is incorrect. Sperm will be there in epididymis. We are not cutting epididymis. We are not talking about the vas efferentia. We are talking about the vas deferens. Now, which of the following is a hormone releasing IUD? Again, correct answer we have is LNG20. Direct question we have discussed about it. Again, you can see, you can visualize yourself that which topic is important. Right? Which of the following approaches does not give the defined action of contraceptive, does not give. So we have four options and we have to see that which one is incorrect. Barrier method. So barrier method, they act as a barrier and it will not allow the meeting of the male and the female gamete. This is absolutely right. It prevents fertilization. Now intrauterine devices increases sperm, uh, increases phagocytosis of sperm. Absolutely right. Suppress sperm motility and fertilizing capacity of the sperm. This is absolutely right. This is also right. Now, hormonal contraceptive prevent retard entry of sperm, prevent ovulation and fertilization. Yeah, yes, this is right. This is right. See, it hormonal contraceptive they change the cervical mucus. So, sub, mucus uh, because of the mucus uh, cervical mucus changes, the sperm will not be able to travel. If they are not able to travel to the fallopian tube, that means there will be no fertilization. Yes, it prevents ovulation but it, because it decreases the level of FSH and LH and fertilization also. Now, vasectomy prevents spermatogenesis. No, vasectomy does not prevent spermatogenesis. In fact, those paths fr from which the sperm comes outside, those paths is being hindered. The correct option we have is option 4 because we are looking for the does not give. So this is how you have to explore options. Now next one, in context of amniocentesis, in context of amniocentesis, which of the following statement is incorrect? Again, incorrect we have to find out. It is usually done when a woman is between 14 to 16 week pregnant. It is used for prenatal sex determination. It can be used for detection of the Down syndrome. It can be used for the detection of the cleft palate. Now listen very carefully. We are here talking about the amniocentesis. So amniocentesis is that procedure from which the amniotic fluid is being taken out. And that amniotic fluid, they are analyzed because it has fetal cells. And because of the presence of the fetal cells, chromosomes, they are being taken out. And those chromosomes, they are analyzed to check whether a baby is having chromosomal disorders or not. Now from this, if you look at this, what will be the correct option? So, which option is right guys? In this case, the correct option we have is option 4. Because a cleft palate is because of the two reasons. Sometimes environmental factors also and sometimes the genetic factors also. So, what is the right ans answer? The cleft palate. We cannot detect cleft palate. That means a palate, the cleft is there in the palate. Right? The correct option we have is option 4. Now, ectopic pregnancies they are referred to. Implantation of embryos at the site other than the uterus. Implantation of defective embryo in the uterus. Pregnancy terminated due to hormonal imbalance. Pregnancy with genetic abnormality. Ectopic pregnancy means those pregnancy where the embryo or the zygote is implanted sometime in the fallopian tube or any other region but not in the uterus. That is the ectopic pregnancy. And suppose it happens in the fallopian tube, it is very difficult for a woman. Because chances that if she is not able to detect or sometimes it is like it is there, the baby is there in the fallopian tube and it is developing, the baby is developing, the chances that the fallopian tube can burst, right? And it is fatal for the baby as well. It is fatal definitely for the baby and it is fatal for the mother also, ectopic pregnancy. So it is always recommended when a person or a, uh, when a female is found positive for the pregnancy test for the HCG in her urine. Always remember, she should go for the first test and that first ultrasound test will give her this idea, will give the doctor also idea that her child or the baby is there in the fallopian tube or in the, any other region on the uterus. If it is there in the uterus, that is well and good. If other places are there, the baby is being aborted. Now, correct answer we have is option 1. 
Moving on to the next is which of the following is not a sexually transmitted disease? Now, trichomoniasis, we have heard about it, we have, uh, it is there in your syllabus also, trichomoniasis, trichomonas vaginalis, right, protozoan disease, no, yes, this is a STD, elephantiasis, this is a correct answer, uh, sorry, encephalitis, encephalitis is a correct option, yes, this is not a sexually transmitted disease, this is a sexually transmitted disease and AIDS is also a sexually transmitted disease. Moving on to the next is a childless couple. Right? Can be assisted to have a child through a technique called gift. The full form of this technique is a very simple question gift. Gift is what? Gamete intrafilopian transfer. Gamete intrafilopian transfer. And this is done in the case of female infertility where gametes they are being taken from the donor. Clear? Yeah? Now, hysterectomy is surgical removal of. What we are doing is hysterectomy. Hysterectomy, that means surgical removing of the whole uterus. Hystera. Hystera is what? Hystera is a uterus. Heat uterus. The correct answer we have is the uterus. Hystera. Hystera is what? The uterus. Now, tubectomy. Yes, tubectomy is tie. We are, what we are doing? We are cutting and the tying the tube. That is a fallopian tube. Is a method for the sterilization in which uterus is removed surgically? No. All part of fallopian tube is removed and tight? Absolutely right. Right? In case of male, we have is a vasectomy. In case of the female, we have is a tubectomy. Female, fallopian tube are cut in the tight. In case of male, vasectomy, the vast difference is cut in tight. This is not correct? Yes, this is also not correct. We are going for the option 2 in this case. A very easy question. Not so difficult. You must have gone through all the question. Like you must have realized that uh, all the question which we are discussing, they are quite simple because this chapter is very simple. In fact, students, if you have gone through the NCRT, eighty percent questions. If you have gone through the each and every line of the NCRT without reading from anywhere, without going through any notes, you will be able to solve at least eighty percent. But yes, sometimes it is like detailed notes are required. Why? To understand the concept, see, we all know NCRT is having everything, but sometimes to understand the NCRT line by line, it is so difficult that we need some kind of note. But 80% for this chapter, you will be able to solve. Now, which of the following is a hormone releasing IUD? What's the right answer? Correct answer we have is LNG20. Volt is not the right answer, it's a barrier method. Multiload 375 is what? This is your copper releasing. Cervical cap, this is again a barrier method. Yeah, female uses it, cervical cap. Assisted reproductive technology, IVF, involved transfer of embryos with 16 uh, blastomere into the fallopian tube. No. It trans we transfer into the uterus, endomate. Avam into the fallopian tube. What we are doing is, we are transferring the avam into the fallopian tube. Zygote into the fallopian tube, zygote into the uterus. Now listen, here assisted reproductive technology or in vitro fertilization, in vitro fertilization, that means fertilization is happening inside the lab. Here we are going for the zygote into the fallopian tube, that is the zift, that is the, which option is right? Option 3, they are talking about in vitro fertilization. Yes, we also transfer the ovum into the fallopian tube, but that is an example of a in vivo fertilization. In vivo, that means fertilization in, in, is happening inside the female body. But here we are talking about the in vitro fertilization. Yeah, next one. One of the legal method of birth control is legal method. By a premature mature ejaculation during uh, co uh, coitus, abortion by taking an appropriate medicine, Abstaining from coitus, day 10 to 17 of the menstrual cycle, by uh, having coitus at the time of daybreak. What is the right answer? That is the legal method of the birth control. The correct answer we have is the abstaining the coitus from 10 to 17 days of the menstrual cycle. What do we call it? That is the uh, uh, coitus, uh, sorry. Yes, that is the calendar method. And uh, basically what we are doing is, we are avoiding the intercourse at this time, where the chances of fertilization is maximum. Here, periodic abstinence. Now, artificial insemination means 
इंट्रोड्यूस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्पर्म ऑफ अ हेल्दी डोनर डायरेक्टली इन टू द ओवरी ट्रांसफर ऑफ स्पर्म ऑफ अ हेल्दी डोनर इन टू अ टेस्ट ट्यूब कंटेनिंग अवा ट्रांसफर ऑफ स्पर्म ऑफ द हजबेंड टू अ टेस्ट ट्यूब कंटेनिंग अवा आर्टिफिशियल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द स्पर्म ऑफ अ हेल्दी डोनर इन टू द वेजाइना दिस इज राइट वन आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन सो देर आर टू थिंग आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन एंड इंट्रा यूटराइन इंसेमिनेशन आर्टिफिशियल इंसेमिनेशन दैट मीन स्पर्म्स दे आर डायरेक्टली प्लेस्ड बाय आर्टिफिशियल मेथड इनटू द वेजाइना बट व्हेन दे आर प्लेस्ड डायरेक्टली इनटू द यूटरस दैट इज इंट्रा यूटराइन इंसेमिनेशन दैट इज आईयूआई दिस इज डन इन केस ऑफ द डोनर एंड आर्ट इंट्रा यूटराइन इंसेमिनेशन दिस इज डन वेयर द स्पर्म काउंट ऑफ द फादर और इज वेरी लेस सो चांसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन इटसेल्फ इन द यूटरस विल बी हाई बिकॉज़ दे विल बी हैविंग लेस पाथ टू ट्रैवल Which of the following cannot be detected in developing fetus by amniocentesis? Yes, the correct answer we have is a joinedness. Guys, joinedness we cannot detect. In fact, many times when our baby is born, the joinedness happens. This is because of the difference in the, um, you can say, blood group of a mother and the baby. So accordingly, joinedness happens. And the that joinedness which happens in a baby at the time of birth, it's completely different. From those joinders which happens uh, during uh, a lifetime, so that is a completely different. Yes, Klein filter we can determine, sex we can determine, and the Down syndrome is also right. Which option is right? Option one. Clear, clear, buddies. Now, <coughs> the test tube baby program employs which one of the following technique? Test tube baby. What do we have is the the baby is uh, what we are doing is. we are making the baby into the fallopian uh, sorry into the test tube test tube is basically in the laboratory condition here we are talking about the technique so what is the right answer guys there is one technique which is your icsi intracytoplasmic sperm injection icsi correct answer is icsi that is a technique right and other things they are basically the transfer so we are transferring either zygote or we are transferring the embryo that is 16 cell stage or sometimes more than 16 cell stage which of the following figure so we have a figure given over here i guess all my students they can easily guess that it is a diagram of a female reproductive system so what is happening over here you can see that some structures they are being tied up they are cut and they are being tied up so what will happen the path of the travel of egg or the zygote or the travel of the sperm has been hindered so which place is this the fallopian tube what we are doing is the tubectomy what is happening is tubectomy correct answer we have is option 4 it's a sterilization procedure it is the reversible is not possible if one person has gone for it we cannot reverse it clear okay Okay so with this we have completed the today's session we have discussed almost all the questions from very uh, from the different topics of this chapter keep practicing more questions like i have discussed about the questions and those co questions which we have discussed i have tried to, to discuss that in the depth so that you will be able to understand the concept and if any of the concept if you have seen this uh, if you have uh, watched this video completely and you have uh, if you have gone through the topics which i have told you or whatever i have discussed in the session if the topics come from std i guess many of you guys will be able to attempt if it comes from the art assisted reproductive technology you will be able to attempt so these are the two important topics of this chapter and i'm 100% sure these are those topics which are always a favorite of examiner so all the very very best from my side i will be bringing another chapter and same discussion i am going to do with you till then take care keep yourself safe in this time do not eat outside food because that is going to affect you badly at this time where you only thing you need is a concentration this time if you are going to do a hard work that is going to pay you later on and if i say the failure is once failure happens once or twice it's not permanent but whereas the success is permanent so keep trying hard keep looking for the opportunities keep looking for the such sessions where you're getting uh, a content where you are practicing co more questions this is what you have to do take care of uh, yourself bye bye everyone see you in the next class